minutes to go for the Crimson Tide. Put that slow. Old play fake now, and Smith throws, and he has his man. That's the tight end cutting across Howard Cross, 15 yards, and a first down for us. He could get away with it. Nope. Yeah, that's right. Second down now. Play fake again. Smith with room. Shoots it out to the right side, and he has his man. That's Brett Payne down to the nine-yard line. Receiver of the two tight ends. Out of the shotgun, and this is a freebie. Texas A&M was offside. They unload it to Stewart. He's in for the touchdown. Robert Stewart, the sophomore, in for Alabama. And there you see Tuscaloosa's reaction. The hurricane ball is a happening. The varsity club in Tuscaloosa. We have a marker down, so hang on. As we mentioned, it was a freebie. Texas A&M was off the side of Alabama in a 14-play drive of a 7-0 lead. Pavlis drops back to pass, but on the left-hand side of your picture, you'll see a little stunt, which means that Thomas started to his left and came up to the inside, and he's strong enough to take that quarterback and just throw him down. All right, David Bump. There you see Derek Thomas, 6'4", 230-pounder. David Bump, number 61, the backup snapper, is holding now for Scott Slater, who will try from his 40. We'll call it a 49-yard field goal, and it's good. Offenses have been outstanding here in the first eight and a half minutes. <laughs> Darren Lewis and Wilson are now the setbacks. Lewis dots the eye and he's tracked down by Tommy Cole. The tackle, 6'2", 257 pounder. Great read. Second down and long. Pavlis. Finally dragged down by Thomas at the 44-yard line. Well, Don Lindsay can be proud of that star. He's had many of them at that strike linebacker position. 55, Thomas has one thing you can't coach, closing speed. Watch the ability from him to move one, two steps. He moves two steps quicker than any defensive lineman I've seen this year, and that's what they call closing speed. Look at that. 48 career sacks at Alabama. That's an Alabama record just reported by Derek Thomas. Thursday night. Doyle will try the field goal from 39 yards away. More to hold. And the Crimson Tide of Alabama converts on this drive. And with five minutes and two seconds left to be played in the first half, Alabama now has a 7-3 lead. Well, the high tide is here, isn't it? Just ask Jackie Sherrill. Lewis so far 41 yards on the night and 11 carries. And there's a fumble. Pavlis once again may be on top of it, but the Alabama contingent says no. Alabama got it. Royal will now try again. You see there from this distance, he's 50%. This one from 42 yards away. And Philip Doyle is perfect. Two for two for Doyle, and the hurricane party rages on in Tuscaloosa. It's the tide by... Number 67, Fontenot. Watch him. Touchdown! Texas A&M trails by a field goal. Play fake, Smith to throw. Touchdown, Kevin Turner. You said earlier, Lee, they have had 
Texas A&M on their heels in many, many cases tonight. Another clear-cut example with this call on third and one. Another great call by Homer Smith, but the beautiful part about this also was the substitution. They took number 34, Stewart, the 253-pound fullback out, slipped Turner, who's 208-pound fullback, slipped him in the flat, hit him for a touchdown. Not only a great call, but a great substitution. Doyle for the extra point. And it's good. He has been perfect tonight. Two field goals and the extra points. Alabama has a 10-point lead over the Aggies. And a very important night for Dave Smith and the Alabama coaching staff. Derek Rushton in there, number 78, second and 11. Boy, what a tackle by McCants. I mean, he just absolutely took Lewis by one arm and threw him down to the turf. I became a favor of favorite of McCants when in the Alabama in the Alabama Auburn game in the Alabama Auburn game he hurt his shoulder and they said he's out of the game and he came back in five plays later. Watch him reach over and full <laughs> strength. Over the Aggies. Nine minutes to play and the clock ticking. Pavlis under pressure. It's a fumble in Alabama. We'll have it at the 16-yard line. Thomas, Derek Thomas. Again, again, and again. His fourth sack of the game. And that could be one that Pavlis and the rest of that offense will have to live with in the locker room a short time from now. Right-hand side of your picture, number 69, Moon, who's supposed to block number 55, Thomas, trip, And that's all he needed. The speed and quickness of Thomas is amazing. He turns the ball game around. Right now, that, ladies and gentlemen, is the end of Texas A&M's chance. Well, they're five plays from being unbeaten. The ball at the 20. Doyle from 30 yards away. It's good. Philip Doyle is connected from 39, 42, and 30 yards. And with 6.42 remaining in College Station, the tide has rolled to a 13-point lead. Moves into the dorm and doesn't live with his wife. Now, that's dedication. Yeah. <laughs> or stupidity. <laughs> Second down and 12. Smith rolling the opposite direction with that left arm, and Battles got it. Down at the 27-yard line. Trying to end it with a 13-point lead already. Second and 10. Murray Hill. Touchdown, Alabama! The Cougars. Second and 10. Here comes the blitz from the backside. Eric Thomas, among others. Bill Curry, I think you see, that's not perspiration on that uh, sweater, folks. <laughs> that's a little relief. You got the Bill Parcells act, the, actually the Harry Carson job from uh, <laughs> from Derek Thomas. There is no thrill in the world to be under the pressure like that. Have him. Got you with them. It doesn't make a difference. That felt beautiful. And have him carry off the field. There's no thrill in the world to be beleaguered as a head coach and have your team pick you up and carry across the field. And a show of class from both coaches. Well, as Bobby McFerrin once said, Coach Corso, don't worry. Be happy. The cool curry is happy right now.